Colton Melhoff here to show you the three axis integrating gyro for modern robotics. It only drifts at about one degree per minute and that's not even the best part. Three axis means this gyro senses rate of rotation in the X, Y, and Z axes. Integrating means that the gyro integrates on board the Z axis. So you can ask the gyro at any point in time which way you're facing and it'll give you a degree value of which way you're facing. That does two things. It first takes away processing from your computer, or in this case an Android phone, and it's also far more reliable and accurate. It's important that before you calibrate your gyro, you let it warm up, and this can be just 30 seconds or so. Um, and to do this, the gyro just needs to be on. So once you turn on your power distribution module, there's an LED on your core device interface, and your gyroscope is blinking, it's warming up. Now, instead of explaining why this needs to happen, uh, there's this awesome video that shows how electronic gyroscopes work. I recommend going and checking it out, of course, after finishing this video. It's really fast, and when the insect is disturbed in flight, the halters try to keep flapping up and down in the same plane. The insect senses this and corrects for it. Well, these single-axis gyros use the same basic principle. They have a set of microscopic wings that are vibrated back and forth with a piezoelectric current. When the gyro is spun, the wings want to keep vibrating up and down in the same direction. I'm going to show you... Uh, FTC's MR gyro test program. So here on my driver station, I'm going to select my MR gyro test and I already set up the configuration file. Uh, when I hit int, it's going to calibrate the gyro. And when the gyro is calibrating, it needs to be absolutely still because calibrating is telling the gyro this is what still is because it needs a baseline to go off of. Otherwise, if it's not still, it's going to think it's moving when it's not moving, or it's going to think it's not moving when it is moving later on in your program. And uh, if you don't calibrate right, it's not going to work well for you. So here, I'm going to hit init. You can see that there's a solid blue light on the gyro. It stays on for about two seconds, and that's when it's, gy uh, when it's calibrating. Now, if I hit play, you can see all the values, the X rate of rotation, the Y rate of rotation, and the Z rate of rotation. It also has the heading on there. Now this program only displays one of the ways, but there are two ways to read heading. You can either read from zero to 359, or you can uh, read positive and negative numbers. So right now, if we turn to the right, it starts counting up. And if we turn to the left, it'll go back to zero, and then it'll go to 359, and then start counting down. Now there's another way where you can read the gyro, because it'll give two sets of data. You can read the gyro and it will uh, go negative values if you go to the left. And if you turn more than one complete rotation uh, clockwise, it'll go above 360. Now, if we, I can show you that. So we're going to go down. It's going 150, 140, 80, 60, 30. And that's about where it started. So that's the modern robotics gyro sensor. You can use this for things like going straight. As you're going straight, you can continuously ask the gyro which way you're facing, and if you're facing too far to the left, you can scooch a little to the right or put more power on your left motors. If you're facing too far to the right, you can put more power on your right motors, and then they'll keep you going straight. You can also use it for turning. So if you're like on autonomous mode, and some opponent from another team or other alliance comes over and gets in your way while you're trying to turn, <laughs> Your wheels might not know that if you have encoders on them. Because if you try to make a turn and you hit a robot and your wheels skid out, your robot's going to think you made that turn. But your gyroscope knows better. So you can ask your gyroscope how far you've turned. If you haven't turned enough, you can make decisions in your program to do other things. For example, go out of the way and then try to make the turn again. Something like that. Um, so the, the gyro is really neat because it doesn't need any other references other than the universe. Check out the links below to find more resources on the Modern Robotics Gyroscope. Did you know we have a Facebook and a Twitter page? Be sure to go out and follow or like the one that you use most so you can get updates on new sensors right when they come out or, in this case, a new video.